Hey guys, I'm in the kitchen today and I'm going to show you one of my favorite recipes, chili con carne. Um, if you are on, you know, Tim Ferriss's slow carb diet, this is a great one for you because it's got the grass fed beef and also beans in it well, along with some vegetables. Here's our ingredients for today. We're going to use some grass fed ground beef, a bay leaf, some tomato sauce, two tomatoes, a pepper. We're going to use some chili powder. Um, we have an onion, some kidney beans, and some salt and pepper. Alright, I have all my food prepared and I'm going to start with my grass-fed beef. I'm just going to put it into the pan along with the uh, peppers, green peppers that I chopped, and the onion that I chopped. And we're just going to cook that until the meat is brown. Our grass-fed beef, peppers, and onions are now ready to go. The meat is browned, and now it's time to add the other ingredients. By the way, you probably hear some noise in the background. That's my uh, dog, Dexter. Here's a picture of him. He's a little hot today because it is pretty hot outside. All right, let's get back to our recipe. So we have uh, two bay leaves so that, that we're going to put in. I never could figure out what bay leaves were all for, but they always tell you to put them in, so they must add some really good flavor. Okay, and then we got some uh, tomato sauce that we're just gonna add. And while we're doing this, we can bring the heat down to low. Okay, chili powder. Uh, I, I'm using a one teaspoon of chili powder because my wife doesn't like uh, really hot stuff. So what I do, usually do when I cook is I, I make it really light on the, the spicy hot stuff and then when I eat it I actually throw some hot sauce in to give it a little bit of that um, you know hot zing that uh, everybody loves. So we're going to just put a, a teaspoon in, a two, teaspoon of salt, and that's sea salt, so I always use sea salt. And we're going to put a little ground pepper. Don't forget some red kidney beans. This is just one can or one pound worth. Last thing is some uh, uh, chopped tomatoes. We're gonna throw all these nice chopped tomatoes. This is a perfect time of year uh, since tomato season's coming up in the gardens. You're gonna have, uh, see some really fresh tomatoes out there. Then we're just gonna stir it up. Okay, and then once you have it all stirred up, next step is just let take a lid cover it and let it simmer for one hour so we'll see you back in an hour all right our chili is done so here it is yeah, look at that. looks really good all right let's get a try of this again like I told you I like to spice things up so got a little bit of red hot original Just kind of squirt some of them that in there stir it up and let's have a try all right Yeah, great, every time. All right guys, so this is a really simple recipe. Go out and try it.